In this particular children's world, not everything is as merry as in the song. Things kids dream of here are of a different nature. Dreams like being able to see, or managing to move around without a wheelchair. What do you want to be when you grow up, Valodik? A worker. Mariamik's foot will be fixed too, and her hand. Three-year-old Mark will become a swimmer and a Paralympic champion. It's what Olya, a staff member, dreams of. A child like this can achieve great success in sports in the Paralympic Games. Mark has lived at the Gyumri Children's Home since birth, together with close to 130 children with disabilities entrusted to the care of the government. He has a spinal condition and has undergone surgery. He's three years old. He's just started walking. His balance and coordination are still not perfect, but we're working on them. <laughs> While humans have believed in the healing power of water since the dawn of civilization, water in the 21st century has become a key tool in rehabilitation therapy. In terms of rehabilitation, kids have boundless possibilities. They can achieve great results. Miracles can happen through water therapy. The Gyumri Children's Home, which houses children with physical and mental disabilities below the age of six, has a brand new indoor therapy pool. It was built by Armenia Fund with the financial support of the Swiss Armenian community. Armenia Fund has always stood by our side. In 2012, it completely renovated and refurnished our two buildings. Next, it built our therapy pool, and we're deeply grateful for it. The 100 square meter heated pool is state of the art, featuring all core components for aquatic healing. The pool is equipped with massager jets, which stimulate blood flow and relax muscles, helping increase flexibility and range of motion. The pool also has a hydraulic lift for lowering children into the water, for massages of the extremities and various aquatic exercises. Eventually, most kids will be able to swim. We used to have an inflatable pool. After having one group of kids swim in it, we had to change the water before the next group could go in. It was very difficult. The new pool has been a blessing. I can do it. I can be as good as anybody else. Specialists try to build self-confidence in the children as they forge their physical and inner strength through aquatic exercises. They feel great being in the water. It helps them become more self-confident and move around on their own, which is extremely important in developing a sense of self-assurance as they grow up. This is Irene. She has Down syndrome. She has no mobility limitations and her emotions are positive, which is a great improvement. The children's positive emotions reach their pinnacle when their parents come to visit them. Yet the mothers of only seven children, out of a total of close to 130, occasionally visit their kids. Although we do our utmost for the well-being of these children, providing them with loving care, education and therapy, the fact is that a child must grow up in a family. In the past five years, only one child has returned home to her biological parents. That child is five-year-old Elena of Yerevan, who has a disorder of the central nervous system.